Hi, my name is Vishal and I'm a senior trainer in multimedia education. I have a 18 years of industry experience and let's get started with the video. So guys, I uh, hope you are exploring along with me uh, from the previous videos. So I have uh, explored Thrill Crystal and I'll start doing this from the directional noise in the noises category. So let's bring the noise here and uh, this noise looks uh, very grainy and but this has got that unique uh, direction to it which looks like uh, when I see this uh, immediately it's giving me the wooden fiber look uh, let's see if I could get some result by connecting it to the shader and you should see that I've got that nice fibers on this and it looks like a nice uh, wood uh, so we have uh, some options here one is the scale which makes it high frequency and then we have uh, angle where you can rotate the angle of this and then we have randomized angle feature where it gives a crisscross texture and uh, maybe you can use it for any uh, a random uh, wooden I mean I see some plywoods which are recycled one and which has this kind of random placed uh, uh, fiber plates on it so uh, randomize I don't know it's not much useful but um, this looks more like a wood and uh, let me go with the other directional noises which I have with me and uh, this is uh, and uh, use when I generally bring this all directional noises here they all have the same attributes uh, the only difference is you have a little bit of character change in it I could see it as if it looks like a, a handle of a axe wooden handle of axe it, it has got that variation and um, that nice short fiber comparatively to the previous one and um, all these noises are just uh, just a variation okay and uh, how I mean the frequency of waves here they uh, this way this texture look a low frequency one and then uh, the first one looks a high frequency that's it's like a, a random uh, sized I, uh, I don't say completely random sized but low frequency to high frequency waves you have here and uh, when I generally um, explore this last one uh, we have uh, extra level of control over this noises let's say instead of um, picking these three you can pick this and take that customization on it uh, this has got some extra um, features one is uh, pattern amount when I reduce this you see the lines uh, are reducing maybe um, sometimes you want to put only limited lines and um, uh, at that time you can use this pattern amount that means you are getting a bit more control uh, in terms of uh, these lines are concerned and then you have this pattern size which is uh, non-square so if I make it a square uh, noise it looks like uh, some blobs um, and uh, what I'm doing is I'm just reducing completely the uh, height of these blobs and then it is ending up giving me that nice streaks okay so we have uh, uh, pattern size random uh, which uh, increase uh, makes this uh, texture more randomized if you see some of them are round blobs and some of them are uh, non-square uh, blobs here and then when I start playing with the texture okay <coughs> and then increase the pattern size here and uh, yeah, you're getting that nice uh, dots in between and then the lines at the same time so we have this uh, directional noises for you 
and that's one group of noises we have and then if I just scroll down we have dirt and dirt is simple uh, circular uh, blobs thrown randomly and uh, what is that you are able to see is some of them are um, bigger and some of them are smaller it looks like a nice uh, dirt floor I mean uh, it's like a cricket ground or any field cricket field uh, it's like a dirt um, surface uh, you can uh, increase the scale which makes it more high frequency a dry land I could uh, generally give a uh, feel here disorder generally changes the placement there uh, so we have our uh, dirts which are again uh, five different variations again as I told you when they are saying dirt uh, when they are saying directional noise they are saying um, they are giving you uh, uh, five six variations of the same texture like low frequency waves high frequency waves mixed together or completely low fre frequency wave uh, in this case you could see the density is less comparatively the first one and this is more soft I could see the blobs are not hard okay and then um, this is low freak uh, less denser uh, circles these are fully dense but hard this is fully dense but soft that is blurred and this one is uh, having uh, big clusters of whites so that gives a uh, terrain and noise at the same time okay that big variations you are getting here uh, let's say if you make it uh, look more uh, monochromatic okay let me take the gray it looks like a moon isn't it so we have the dirt 5 uh, don't uh, forget to increase the scale feature there oh, sorry explore the attributes there uh, then we have this one uh, it looks uh, nice craters okay um, let me try searching for invert grayscale and then connect it then you get that uh, craters on uh, the model um, so you have the scale let me uh, take transform node and then connect it okay so what transform does is it scales so uh, if I put it to 200% and 200 percent you should able to see that craters became bigger and see which uh, one has got how okay this one is all uh, good so okay you, you see that big craters then we have this uh, gradient there is nothing about this it has got a gradation and that same uh, dirt pattern and we don't have any control over uh, the texture it has got uh, just a disorder it just change, changes its placements so dirt is a group of textures unlike your directional noise Uh, then we have uh, a fractal a fractal noise is a very popular noise texture uh, in between you have a fluid fluid is uh, basically like a, a ball it looks like a lava flow or sometimes scale let me try picking different colors here
okay you, you could see that kind of uh, flow uh, lava flowing layer upon layer and then you get that nice texture what if if you blend this with some uh, secondary noise details it would it will look more um, complicated in terms of details so you have this scale okay you can increase the scale value even uh, you want to create a concept creature okay uh, in that you you just wanted uh, this kind of lava texture on it and definitely um, go ahead and use it so we have warp intensity You should see that looks more sharp tube comparatively the warp intensity less is more soft one okay and uh, we have pattern size when I put this both uh, okay it looks like a, a welding also Just explore uh, what all you can generally do here with this uh, tool and then we have fractal uh, fractal is just uh, noise high frequency uh, noise and uh, low frequency noise are blended each other and you got this okay it looks like a planet cool so you don't have any control on this texture here just you need to plug and use it there's nothing uh, in the fractal here okay see where you can probably use them understanding the the texture is very important okay so if you just see there there is a fractal sum base which is having a control on the fractal so you can choose this instead of the other one this also looks very nice like a planet uh, some planet i could remind of okay you have the minimum level okay and then you have the maximum level we have opacity you can try playing opacity and then you can work with roughness also so this uh, as I told you high frequency waves are adding on when I increase the roughness on the low frequency so there are three or four layers subsidiarily working in this okay so later we have uh, fur layers and Gaussian blurs uh, fur are just uh, simple lines okay we have scale and you can probably use it in uh, creating fur okay so I'll select uh, some color here and uh, I'll remove the rest of them so you should be able to see that lines okay this this fur looks very nice this has got a flow also Uh, when uh, let's say there is a name called fur on it and don't restrict yourself uh, saying that it's uh, I mean don't use it only for fur think beyond that and you can use it in making stone uh, organic stone patterns okay 
and uh, sometimes you can use it in designing some curtains cloths all that okay um, so that's very important when you are you know think out of the box don't just restrict yourself uh, saying that okay this is first so I'll only use it for don't do that then we have the Gaussian spots uh, again as I told every category will have uh, two to three variations and then see and every noise is uh, very peculiar if you could see Gaussian does it have that secondary high frequency wave like fractal and black and white spots have got uh, on gray black and white and uh, as you go uh, every texture is unique just you need to able to understand that uh, name and texture and then you will able to create uh, fantastic results and you also when you see a random stone and you want to create you will understand whether it is a fractal noise or uh, or it is a um, Gaussian noise or something else so keep a, a strong control over the textures that is very important while you are doing um, uh, the procedural texturing 